just set you guys to choose some energy. Okay, so friendship might be of great significance and or and there might be might be an mice did i just say mice i don't know of mice mice of men might i don't know okay maybe mouse or something like that is significant we'll get back to it uh yeah so friendship might be important in this reading um you might be meeting new friends there might even be a romance some like some sort of like romance that's coming in um somebody needs to like stop and smell the roses more somebody needs to focus more on pleasure like maybe go out buy a scented candle um take a bath in some um essential oil or just like go for a walk and um you know like smell the air like like somebody needs to see things differently it, or somebody needs to invigorate the senses is what i'm hearing somebody needs to invigorate the senses yeah somebody might even somebody might be burnt out but i don't even think that somebody's physically burnt out i feel like somebody is like mentally burnt out and or it's just like somebody has i'm hearing like received some sort of like an influx of information that it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like somebody's it's not it's not funny it's almost like somebody's been traumatized by the, by the, well, somebody has, there's just a lot of information that has come through, and so it's, it's just kind of took somebody, it's like somebody's a little shocked still, that, that may or may not resonate with somebody, okay? I feel like whoever you are, you, whatever you want, you're going to get. It's like the universe, the universe has got you back. You, you, you are, I'm hearing that you are highly regarded in the universe. Mm -hmm. Whoever you are, you're very passionate. Um, I feel like you m motivate people a lot. Maybe that's what you have a lot of really great energy. Um, maybe that's also why somebody's a little tired or burnt out. But there's some sort of an ending that's taking place. You may have had to... Um, like cut ties with somebody or release something. Uh, it could be love, an old love. Um, it could also be like old emotions. It could also be, um, I'm also hearing like, um, like infatuation. Like maybe somebody is more emotionally intelligent now. So it's like somebody's actions are, it's like, yeah, it's like this video that I just saw of this woman and she put it, to, what is the video? She said something about, she was pretty brilliant. She made a lot of sense. She said something about the idea of being in a marriage is not to be in a happy marriage. It is to be in a, well, that, okay, I am, I am paraphrasing obviously she was in a happy marriage and obviously like, okay, so I am paraphrasing very much. All right. But essentially what she's saying is, is, is that people, when they're not happy, they run away from situations. Um, and they, obviously if it's, if there's an abusive situation, get the fuck out of there. You know what I mean? And like, if it's an unhappy marriage and you feel like you got to cut the cord, then get out of there. You know what I mean? Like life is short. But what I'm saying is, is that like, um, like maybe one day you're not happy well, um, you know, you don't give up just for whatever reason, right? Okay, but the, um, all right, what did she say, though? She said that the point of, um, the point of marriage is not to have a happy marriage, but it is to build a long-lasting relationship with a solid foundation. So, right? So that makes sense, okay? So, but, you know, happiness is always sprinkled in there, right? But the point is, is that, um... I think somebody is becoming more sensible and somebody is now in a space where they would be able to um, put down the foundation, the proper foundation 
for a relationship um, to begin somebody yeah so somebody's sacral chakra was a little off kilter what else spare ants is up my highest way I'm also hearing a message about um, somebody wants to know like what sign or who's coming in for them or something and I'm hearing from spirit spirit saying that sometimes the like sometimes the universe will not tell you who's coming in for you and who or who it's supposed to be because um, like say you do a tarot reading and like, this is what I'm seeing I'm seeing like say somebody does a tarot reading Say somebody does a tarot reading for you and you want to know like what sign or who's coming through or what, you know what I mean? And you, you want to know like, I don't think that this is you and I don't, but for some reason somebody, this is coming out, okay? So say you want to know what the sign is, okay? And so say they pull a card and they say it's, uh, I don't know, got like Pisces, okay? Say it's a Pisces, all right? Well, say that reader tells you that, that this person coming is, in is going to be a Pisces and, um, and only take what resonates you guys, you know, I'm not telling you what to believe, but, you know, um, it would be very easy. What I'm hearing is, is that it would be very easy for someone to get confused if a different Pisces will come in. Okay, now that is just an example. So I don't know what that is, but just take that, whatever, however that fits, if that fits. But, okay, so um, just take what resonates, I guess. I don't... Yeah, okay. I feel like you have a lot of earth energy. Um, you're also very grounding for a lot of people. You are very secure. You may attract insecure people because of that. It is your resonance. Um, that makes them feel grounded and good and practical and you are very dependable so we might have I mean if this is a love reading I, I feel like it could be anything it, it's just this could be friends too you know what I mean like friends who you know come in and and whatever but I feel like um whoever you are you have you give a lot of your energy. You need to be very cognizant of that. You give a lot of your energy even when you don't know that you're giving it. Okay? So if, listen to your body is what I'm hearing, actually. Little spirit ancestors of the highest light. And, and I'm also hearing maybe it's time to ignore some people. Just take what resonates, so you guys. Just take what resonates. Answers to my life. What else? Mm -hmm. Whoever you are, I feel like you're doing really well, though. I feel like you're in a very secure place. We've got the Nine of Pentacles. Even if you don't necessarily feel secure, you are secure. Um, something about other people's energy, though, like coming in and making you feel insecure. Don't don't just understand that that is not your energy. Okay. Um, I return all energy that is not my own. I call back all of my energy, blessed and transmuted, and return all energy that is not my own. Say that. I call back all of my energy, blessed and transmuted, and return all energy that is not my own. Yep, we're moving forward. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Mm -hmm. Somebody doesn't know how strong they are. I feel like a lot of people want to collaborate with you. But I also feel like a lot of people want to like try to like ride your coattails too. So make sure that you're not getting distracted or you're not like people will try to distract you is what I'm hearing. They'll try it. Oh man, fuck that shit. Um, there's a karmic energy that's trying to come or there is a karmic story. There's something that's trying to come through and I'm, but it's something about, um, a lot of people want to work with you, but just make sure that you, what I'm hearing is, okay, stick around and make sure that you know exactly what you are doing and exactly what you want to do. And that way nobody can get you off of your path. All right. Um, you're very creative. Um, 
you have a lot of very unique skill sets I'm also hearing. You're very good with logistics, whatever that may be regarding, but you're very good at figuring out how to do things. All right. But yeah, like people might try to, um, so, but I feel like your angels are always there to like pull you out of any situation, but it does get frustrating for sure. I, I could say, speaking from experience, that it does get frustrating sometimes when like you end up in a place where you're like, wait a second, I, how the hell did I get here? I thought I was supposed to be doing da da da, and then all of a sudden I just said, yeah, I'll go hang out with this person, and now we're talking about doing the exact opposite, or, you know, I don't know, but, um, I'm also hearing, like, people trying to put too much on your plate as well, to kind of take time away from you, so maybe it's time for some solitude, maybe it's time to withdraw, maybe it's also time to do some research on yourself, the hermit card, maybe it's some, it's time to do some research on yourself. But I feel like, I feel like people are researching you too. Like, that's creepy. I feel like somebody can feel that. Because like, as soon as I said that, I could feel that in my body. It was weird. That would be pulling on my, that would be pulling on your energy too. Like, that would pull on my energy. I would feel that. If people were thinking about me and trying to research me, trying to figure me out. Oh, that sucks. Especially if you're like tapped in and like, especially, yeah. All right, what else there? Ancestors of the Highest White Light. What else? Anything else? Hierophant. There might be somebody coming in with a higher level of commitment, but either way, I feel like whoever you are, you are a teacher, and whether you know it or not, you are some sort of a spiritual advisor to people. I feel like that you are also very connected with uh, the divine and with your path, and it's like you're you're on that path. Like there's, it's just you know, this could be also a higher level of commitment with the Two of Cups. Um, too, but I also feel like somebody's going to be, um, I'm seeing like some sort of like an emergence. I'm, I was going to say, I was, I was somebody, I feel like somebody's like emerging out of something, but it's interesting because it's almost like you, it's almost like people are seeing you emerge out of something, but you, you emerged a long time ago. It's just that they didn't, they couldn't understand that. Because they weren't there yet. Misunderstood. Somebody's misunderstood. Somebody probably feels misunderstood. What's that song? I think it's like a Wilco song. Woo! Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I feel... Yeah, somebody's come into some some sort of knowing, some knowledge, and some, somebody's got, got a foot up. That's you, baby. All right, I'm going to leave the reading there. I hope that you guys are doing really, really amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time, bye.